Hello first graders, happy Monday. What we will be doing today in math is we will compose and decompose numbers up to 99 with base 10 blocks. How we will be doing this is we will determine how many tens and ones are in the given numbers. This is important so we know how to build numbers in different ways. But first, before we do our lesson for today, go ahead and watch the video down below to review our vocabulary words for this week. So go ahead and watch the video down below so we can review our vocabulary words together. Okay, now that you've watched the vocabulary words, let's go ahead and continue our lesson. So let's go ahead and look at some 10 frames for today. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and look at this problem and it says count how many tens and ones are shown. So we're gonna look at all of these 10 frames. How many 10 frames do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six 10 frames, but are they all complete? Hmm, I see one that's not complete, this one. But every other 10 frame is complete. And how do we know that our 10 frame is complete? Because there's 10 counters. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 counters. So this 10 frame is complete because we have 10 counters. So right here we have 10. And then right here we have 10. Then another 10. Another 10 another 10 but right here we're missing one so how many counters does this 10 frame have one two three four five six seven eight nine so this 10 frame only has nine counters so it is not complete it only has nine so let's see it wants to know how many tens and ones we have okay so let's go ahead and look at our tens first. So right here, we have 10 counters. We know because our 10 frame is filled right here and we counted them, there's 10 counters here. So there is one 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a 10 long in order to represent my 10, okay? And I'm also going to draw it down here, the 10 long, oops, you can't see that, right here, okay? And then I have another 10 that is filled. I'm gonna grab another 10 long, put it right here, and then draw my pictorial model. So I'm gonna draw another line, a long line, to represent a 10. Then I have another 10 frame that's filled. So I'm going to grab another 10 long and I'm going to draw another one down here. So I have three so far. Then right here, I have another one. So I'm going to grab another 10 long. And then I'm going to draw another one down here. Then I have one more. Oops, grab this. Then I'm going to draw another one. Okay. So the reason I got a 10 long, so my base 10 blocks, the 10s, is because our 10 frame has 10 counters. These are all complete. And our 10 block, this one, has 10 blocks, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So they have 10 blocks. So they each have 10. They're just in a different form. This is a 10 frame and this is a base 10 block, 10 long. Now we have one more 10 frame, but we said it's not complete, right? There's only nine counters in this one. So we can't get a 10 long, we can't do that. 
because there's not 10, there's only nine. So we're gonna go ahead and draw nine dots. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I can go ahead and grab nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine. So now that we drew our picture and we have our 10 blocks and our ones, we can go ahead and complete how many tens and ones there are. So how many tens are there? We can look at our 10 frames. One, two, three, four, five. There's five 10 frames that are complete. Or if we look at our base 10 blocks, there's one, two, three, four, five. We have five tens. So I'm going to go ahead and put five right here. And how many ones do we have? So right here, this is our only incomplete 10 frame. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we also had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cubes. Ones. So we can tell by our picture that we have nine ones. Remember when we draw tens, they are long. And when we draw ones, they are small little circles or dots. So now we know with our 10 frames, we have five that are complete and one that's incomplete. So we put it in the ones. So there's five tens and nine ones. Okay, five tens because this is a 10, this is a 10, this other 10 frame is a 10, this is a 10, and this is a 10 because they each have 10 counters. And this one only has nine. So it's nine ones because it's not complete. It's not a full 10. So now if we put them together, our five tens, and then our nine ones, we get 59. How did we get that? Because if we count by tens, it can go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So it helps if we count by tens. And knowing how many tens can help us with that. So our number is 59. Let's go ahead and look at another type of question. So right here, oops, it says write how many tens and ones are equal to each number. So right here we have the number 58. 58. Okay, so 58, let's go ahead and draw it out. So we like to draw out our pictures because it helps us a little bit more and we're able to visualize and see the number easier. So 58. So right here, this first number, what does this first number tell us? How many tens we have, okay? So right here we have five. So the first number is how many tens we have. So we have five tens. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five. And right here, eight. What does that tell us? How many ones we have? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And even if we use our base 10 blocks, we have five tens, and then we have, oops, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
a1. And we are able to see that we have one, two, three, four, five tens, because these are our tens blocks, our ten longs. So I'm going to put five right here. And how many ones did we draw? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We drew eight ones. So five tens, tens start with the letter T, tens, and eight one. One starts with the O, ones. Now let's go ahead and look at our next number. We have 89. 89. So let's go ahead and draw it out. So right here, 89. So what are we going to draw for this first number, 8? Are we going to draw 10 or 1s? This first number is our 10s. Our 10s place. So we put 8, 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 tenths. And what does the last number tell us? Uh, which one? Does it tell us how many ones we have? Yes, it tells us how many ones we have. So how many ones do we have? What's this number? 9. So we have, so we get 9 ones. So we're going to draw 9 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, nine ones. So now we're able to fill out our um, missing spaces, sorry. So we're able to fill out our missing spaces. So how many tens did we draw? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We drew eight tens. And how many ones did we draw? Remember, our ones are our small little dots and circles, and our tens are our long lines. So how many ones did we draw? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We drew nine ones. Woohoo! Last number. What is our last number? So 66. 6, 6. So our first number, what does it tell us? What are we going to draw? Tens or ones? Our first number we have six, so we're going to draw six ten longs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And our last digit is a number six, so we're going to draw six ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So how many tens did we draw? We drew one, two, three, four, five, six, six tens, or you can look at the first number, which is a six, and then how many ones did we draw? One, two, three, four, five, six. We drew six ones. And it's also the last digit. So we have six tens and six ones. And it was, we were able to figure out how many tens and ones by looking at the digits and also drawing out our numbers. Let's, okay. So go ahead and watch video number two so you know what to do for today's assignment.